reasons and uh, should be independent. That's all. Smart woman को uh, lovable नहीं होना चाहिए. Or men should be lovable, ना? Love. Men should be lovable also. Obviously, men should be lovable also. But women को हम लोग कैसे portray कैसे करते हैं? Women को. हाँ. Kind and lovable, ना? Lovable, beautiful, gorgeous, and emotional. They think from their heart, not from brain. That's not right. That's good also. We all are women here. We are sitting here. How dare you? Did I say something wrong? Your your mother doesn't take good decisions. That's what you meant. Yeah. Your mother doesn't take good decisions because it's like we think through our heart. I'm not saying that all women think from their. Uh, I mean, they should they they should think from their. But all women are not same. Okay, you should you shouldn't generalize that then. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. All men are also not same. You should be a little biased on a platform like this, isn't it? We all do have brain, and we all are beautiful, regardless of man or woman. So, thank you so much. But uh, you should keep a mentality that is broad and good thinkable. All right. So moving forward. Very good evening, everybody. Respected jury and all my dear best friends. I am Subhit Kumar Shah. I am from West Karbiangong District, Assam. Uh, I am currently pursuing my BPharm uh, in Assam Dongtan University. I am 21 years of age, and my hobbies are traveling and riding bikes. I'm very fond of bikes, and especially I don't like that much bikes, but I'm much interested. In scooties. Hello, hello. Yes, I can continue now. A very good evening to all and one present here and to our respected judges. And hi, I'm Rita. It's a great pleasure to meet you here once again. I am Pallavi Roy, belonging from Guwahati, Assam. I am 23 years old, pursuing my education in B.S. University in first semester from Assam Dharma University. I'm a gymnastic player and a dancer by heart. My biggest inspiration is my roots, that is my parents, who is the epitome of sacrifice, love, and courage. They are the one who taught me to be the most strongest and yet grounded me with morality, kindness, and a compassionate heart filled with gratitude. I'm a person who believes in equality and uplifting every single individual to take a space in the society and to empower themselves. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi, Amrita. Hi. So I have a question for you. I see you have a tattoo on your hand. Yes. I have a question regarding that. So do you think tattoos define beauty for you? Thank you for the question, Amrita. Once again, a very good evening to one and all present you. I think uh, tattoo is not a symbol of a modern woman or a woman who is lacking behind the society, but it's an opinion of every individual to have one. I don't define it as a beauty, but uh, it's an influence everyone belongs, everyone has in it. So I don't think that tattoo is a negative part of having in your body, but it's a positive sign that you can continue with whatever stream you are in, in whatever uh, field you are in, and that's what I believe that tattoo is not a barrier. It's a beauty in its own, and thank you. Thank you so much. and I'm currently pursuing my bachelor's degree in physiotherapy in Fort Stanislaw. I'm from the land of Aurora, Premier's beauty, and a land of breath, and a, Hello? and a land of green desert with rich and diverse variety, Arunachal Pradesh. I love dancing, which which gives me a very happy... I love dance... No. I, lo I love dancing, as which gives me a happiness to minimize the impact of my shyness. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Ms. Likaya Anil and I'm 21 years old and I'm doing my Jai. bachelor's of optometry.
of Business Administration and I am in Fort Sam. My hobbies are uh, dancing and going to gym. Uh, I participated in this event to boost my confidence and be a better version of myself. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm assuming you want to sing a song for the talent show? Okay, she'll be dancing. Alright. 